So what now? I reckon y'all want a kiss? A kissing would be nice, yes? <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're headed to the world of a brand new bullet hell. Vampire survivors like Stardew Valley farming game titled Pesticide Not Required. And you got to follow me for a little bit on this and I want to be clear this is not a sponsored video. I was doing my normal research and I came across this article on PC Games N. Stardew Valley meets vampire survivors in new steam farming roguelike. All right. And this article gives some good information on it, plays the trailer, shows off some stuff, but I'm not going to bore you with this article. OK, I just wanted to show you it because this is how I came across this game. But this does take you to the official Steam page and I'll link this in the description. Mow down countless crops and corrupt critters while crafting game breaking builds. Pesticide not required is a bullet haven horde survival rogue light with farming elements that offer mirage of stats and special character traits to create wildly diverse run possibilities. And this game, as I was looking at it, I was like, okay, Q1 2024, it's not out yet. You can only wish list it. But if you scroll down a little farther, you come right here. Wishlist the free prologue, which is basically a demo, a chapter one, a start to this game. And I installed this. I played it once. I did beat it on the first time. And I got to say, they did a great job. I'm going to give you a little bit of the conclusion right now. This game definitely punches up. Absolutely. So what we're going to do is I'm going to play the trailer right now for pesticide not required and then come back and log into the game. We're going to do a little bit of a time lapse video showing you my number two run should be a whole lot of fun. This game is awesome. Enjoy. <laughs> logged in to pesticide not required and I'm going to click play and after I beat the first part it gives me this little hideout area you go to the bed to change how your frog looks we're gonna stick with default there's a lot of things on here that are locked that I'm sure is coming with the actual full release of the game we've got our kitchen that has some upgrades let's uh we're gonna buy some movement speed and some planting We'll get some projectile speed and resistance. Go watering range. Ooh, I like crit chance. And I think that's it we can buy. All right, so we are out of resources. Come down here. You're going to be able to upgrade your little hideout with said resources. Let's put a wood table in there. We bought a wood table. There it is. And then when you actually want to play, you come right here. And I have unlocked Autumn 1. I played Spring, so now we're going to play Autumn. And here we are. This is my garden, or my farm. And I'm planting, but now I'm going to need to water soon. And as you can see, you could come... Oh, it needs water. See the water? And you're not clicking any buttons. Everything is still automated. You come up to the well when you need more water. And you're just killing bugs and you're growing your farm. You can come over here. You're going to mine some rock. Okay. We'll come up here. We'll do some fishing. Okay. There's no fish there. Got an apple to heal. Continue to water. And we leveled up. Quality bait. Enrichment. Lasting effects. We're going to take a 
attack duration and projectile speed. And we got some fishing. We caught a fish. Leveled up again. Damage, crit damage. Hmm. Do we want... Yeah, let's... No. Let's take projectile speed. And we are currently on day one. Okay, day one. Oh, we need more water to water our farm. Take that. Got some water. And just like any kind of bullet hell game, it starts off slow, right? Day one is done. We come up to the shop. Now, in this as well are pets. And pets are going to do a lot of things for you. Golden Retriever. It's going to go retrieve monies that are around the map. You can have an elephant that are water for you. You can have other pets that will plant seeds. Lots of stuff. So what we are going to do first, we have 563 coins. And the first thing we're going to buy is we don't want fairies. Yo-yo swing towards and you get when it gets too far away, swings back. All right. I've never tried yo-yo. We're going to get yo-yo and then we're going to pick up some more seeds and we are going to exit. And now the next day starts and we are planting our seeds. Or spawns mining crit. And we are planting our seeds. Let me fill up my water. And our crops are going to give us lots of experience. Continue to water. Got an apple up here. We got some fishing and mining simultaneously. Trust me, it will get crazy. Water capacity grow crop growth speed hmm we're gonna take damage oh there's the yo-yo all right get more water and we're gonna let one more day go go ahead and then we'll do a little time lapse and we'll jump to more towards the crazier parts Max health, health regen. Give me that. I like health regen. Need more water. And your farm is going to grow as well. Do some fishing. Do some mining. Health regen. And we have finished the second day. Before I go to the shop, let me water my plants. Okay, here we go. Now we have a pet available for 310. This plant, this pet, an elephant, will water for us. Bye. And then we're gonna upgrade our yo-yo. Okay, so now we got a little elephant that is gonna sit there and help water for us. Normal last round, I had four elephants that were watering. Damage, attack spot size, enemy spawns, enemy speed. Ooh, all right, we're going to take summoning blade. We got summoning blade now. All right, basic premise. We are going to mine. We are going to fish. We are going to farm. We are going to level up our frog. And more and more enemies are going to be coming. Day finishes. We upgrade our frog. Okay. Let's fast forward.
And we're back. I am now day 12, level 29, Froggy. I got a little hairy there for a minute. I was like, oh crap, I think I might actually die. This is my second time ever running this. We've got the water beam. We've got the little tongue attack. We've got the hammer and we've got the yo-yo. And we've got the yo-yo. I also noticed that Magnet, I didn't get Magnet last time, and this time we did. So that's cool, we could pull in the things, the little coins farther away. I got a bunch of elephants, I got cows, I got two cans that are planting the seeds that I buy from the shop for me. And we are now level 30, and look at my farm, it's growing pretty well. It's growing pretty well. Water size, let's we'll take damage. Try and kill these bugs quicker. Do some fishing. Now I didn't mention every time you kill one of these big ones, it drops a chest. And inside of that chest is a pet. Inside of that chest is a pet. Level 32. I have been all crit chance. Every chance I can get, I've been taking crit damage. So I'm going to stick with that. Let's see if we can kill this guy while none of his friends are around. Done. Fertilize those crops. Go to the store. Let's make our hammer. Actually, yeah, let's take and make our hammer bigger. Then we're going to buy maximum of all the seeds available. Do some mining over here. Come on. Holy smokes. A lot more bugs coming. Jeez. Try and do some fishing. Oh, we got to go get those crops. See the crops? They're all done. XP drops every time a seed is planted. Now we're going to take XP duration. As the crops are made and you pick them up, you get huge XP improve or boost. Killing the bugs. We are on day 13. Day 13. Crit damage. Should get some water. Let's pick up all this. All these coins over here. Now, unlike other kind of bullet hell style games, your farm is enclosed in a fence. So for the most part, you kind of hang around this center area. Crit chance. Yeah, let's take, keep getting crit chance. Crit chance maxed. All right, let's see what we got up here in the shop. Our hammer is maxed. We will take our yo-yo. And we'll continue to buy seeds. And let's plant these new crops. Fishing, damage, movement. Movement speed might, might be nice. We are now day 14. Day 14. I think we're going to win. Feeling pretty good about this one. This water shot is awesome. Ugh, I need more elephants. Look at all my plants. All my crops need water. Mm, max health, resistance. Max health, attack size, damage. Beefy. Yes. Oh, crap. Uh, attack frequency with the yo-yo. Don't run into those. Dude, that almost killed us. We're almost at the end. Crit damage. Crit chance. Got a lot of health regen, 
So as long as we don't get hit, our life will slowly creep back up. Beefy. I'm gonna teep. We'll go up here, we'll do some fishing. All right, we are almost there. Day 15, I'm pick, grab our golden retriever. Upgrade our final skill. Water. Oh, we got a chest right here. Retrieve loot for me, golden retriever. And you can have multiple of the same pet. So right now I've got two golden retrievers out grabbing loot for me. We are full life. Last skill we have to upgrade is our tongue lash. We are a frog. I can't even get to my crops. We'll go up here and do some mining. We could just stand here and get these little mines. And we will have all our skills upgraded. Tax enemies. We got a cat now. I actually don't have a cat. I think we're in good shape. I honestly can't remember how many days the season goes for. Boom. And we are a giant frog! Get out of here! Huh? Who else wants some? Survive Autumn. Thanks for playing the prologue. And then it gives you what's coming up. 20 playable characters, 20 weapons, 16 plus difficulty levels across all four seasons, 150 plus level up rewards, 100 achievements, full kitchen skill tree, Tons of house cosmetics unlock, compendium of pet related unlocks, and lots more fun. And then it comes here, breaks down everything on your run and what skills you had, breaks down all of your stats on the right hand side, and then when you hit continue, you are back at your hideout. And I've unlocked another frog, and each frog does do different things. This is now Finn that we have. And now I can go to spring. I've beat spring one, I've beat autumn one, and now I have spring two. Pesticide not required. It's a very long video, but I gotta say, when it comes to bullet hell, vampire survivor-esque, a small little prologue, a small little taste of this game, I give it a two thumbs up. Each time I have played it, I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I think they've got a really good premise for the future. So that's the video. I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below, and I have linked this Steam in the description as well if you want to play it as well. And just know, this is not a sponsored video. Two ass at the end. Ask number one. I'm hoping today is the day I have earned your subscription. I'm hoping today is the day you make the decision to push that little red button. I would really appreciate it, but of course, only if you think I have earned it. Ask number two, check out my Patreon. Thank you to the first 93 members that have signed up. I get asked all the time, what's the best way to support? And Patreon is it. You get the most added benefits. We just did a Patreon game night, which was so much fun. And we're gonna do that again at the end of January. You get all the exclusive content. You get access to the VIP lounge. First link in the description for the Patreon. Now I'm done. Hopefully you were entertained or at least learned something. Aaron, out. Mm -hmm.